Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. In this video, we are going to talk about workshop. In my previous video, we were talking about the forestry, but I think forestry, we could improve further. As you can see, there is uh, some changes in my forestry, but let's talk about the, my workshop. So, I recently do some work on the workshop, so it's look more organized. So, the workshop itself is uh, one of the key section in our automation for the whole thing because the workshop supplies all of the tools that need for the bots to do their job. So you can see I have a lot of uh, crude workbands which has been specified into different tools. And in previous implementation in the forestry, I can like set up some kind like the system where if the tools that bot use for the job broken, they can like take in directly from the crude workbands. But I already changed that system. So right now, every tools is distributed into other section. And you can see in this forestry, there is crude egg storage and also crude speed storage. And this storage containing the tools that digger and chopper needed to uh, do their job. So the tools that has been saved into this storage is moved by a bot called X transporter and speed transporter. So what the transporter did is taking the tools from the main storage in the workshop area and put it to the workshop storage in the specific area. In this case, this is the forestry and the forestry need the crude eggs and also the crude speed. So they only have a two. And if we move to the query, the query only need the crude picks, so they also have the crude picks storage here. And if we take a look into the farm, they have a flail and also the crude spade, so they have their own tool storage. Why I implement that kind of like uh, the things is because to make the bot works more efficient. So as you can see that this automation will be expand to unlimited area. It means like in the future, maybe I will put some the automation here and I will also put some automation here, which is very far away from the main workshop. I'm not gonna let the bot take the tools very far away from them. So that's why I implement the section tool storage. So every section has their own tool storage if they really need the tools to do their job. And each team has their own transporter. Like I said before, the forest boy has the X and speed transporter. And if we take a look at the farms boys, it has flail transporter and the speed transporter. So the transporter jobs is just take any tools that they have been specified with from the main storage of the workshop to their section storage. So as you can see here, like move to the crude speed storage, which is here. Take the crude speed, move to the crude speed storage 4, which is in here, and add that crude speed to the storage 4. That's it. So this distribution improves the efficiency of the workers. So the bot doesn't need to go to the main workshop just to take their tools and go back over again to their place, which will be very time consuming. Okay, that's it for the distribution system of the workshop tools. Let's get into the workshop structure itself. So far, the workshop boys team is the largest team in my AutoNet gameplay. See, the workshop boys has 19 bots and I think the second highest one is the bot boys and the farm boys. Oh, by the way, we are gonna differentiate the workshop and the bot boys. As you can see, I already upgraded uh, my bots into MK1 so this is MK0 and this is MK1 if I can uh, zoom in this is MK0 and this is MK1 but we're gonna talk about this uh, bot automation later in another video workshop basically needs the resources to create a tools right so that's why as you can see here I have the another storage of the plank lock, pole, 
three sheep, stick, and stone. And I managed to place all of this storage in the center of the workshop area. Why? Because I just want to organize every resource in one spot. So then all of the job that require the resources to get their tools, it will took from the one spot. And that spot should be accessible from anywhere. It means it's going to be hard if I put the resource around here and the workshop itself around here. So I think that center will be a good spot for the resources. So if they need something to create the cortex, which is the stone and stick, the bot just need to go to the center and go back again. As you can see, there's another distribution system of the resources. Well, I still have the storage for the log, plank, and the pole storage for the forestry and also the stone storage for the quarry. But with this kind of like separation of the storage, it make it easier for the bots to take the resources. It means that increase the efficiency of the travel time of the bots from one spot to another spot. That's why the workshop boys has, I think, five transporter. The first is the lock transporter, plank transporter, pole transporter, stick, stone, and the three seats transporter. You can like see that I put a lot of bot that doing the distribution and I always call it the transporter. So in my definition, the transporter in my game is just the bots that pulling all of the resources into their section so other bots can efficiently take that resources from their closest area rather than take the resources directly from the main storage which in this case for example the log storage in the forestry or lumbering or also the stone storage in the quarry basically all the transporter jobs is basically same this is just like move to the log storage take from the log storage and move it to the this workshop storage and the difference is generally the what the storage they need to pull or put in and what the resources that they will take or they will transport okay I've been talking about the transporter. Why don't we see that in the action, right? So let's see. Uh, we start from the forestry. If we take this uh, crude spade from the storage one, it means that it will remain, and the transporter will take the crude spade from workshop mine storage and put it to their section storage if i took the stone for example here oh no like this still take all of them see the stone transporter will take the stone from the quarry storage into the workshop stone storage See, this is also happening for the logs. If I took poles from the storage, the pole transporter will take pole from the main pole storage into workshop pole storage. That's how the transporter works. They just take the thing from the other storage and put to the, their main storage. Let's continue to the how do we create the tools on the workshop. Or to be precise that how do I set up tool creation in this gameplay. So as you can see, I have a lot of crude workbench here. Like there's a ma wooden mallet, crude spade, crude pig, crude eggs, crude flail, crude blade and there's a lot of things here and the system of the tools creation itself is pretty basic they just need to take the resources from the storage put it into good workbench and after the tools has been created take those tools to the specific storage and since i have the mk1 bots well also there's uh, some of the mk0 bots 
I'm gonna talk of the difference uh, of the system that I made. As you can see, in some tools, there is a two bots that standing to each other. In another tools, there is only one. Why? Because in order to do the job that I described earlier, brain of the MK0 is not large enough to put all of the action into one brain of the bots. As you can see on the crude workbench that produce crude blade, there's a two bots here. The first one is the one that make the tools, the second one is the one that move the tools. So this is the blade maker. What the blade maker does is take the st stone storage and put on the workbench, just simple as that. And it will not do any job if the crude workbench is full. Which means the crude blade storage is full because what the blade mover does, it will not do anything if the crude blade storage is full. Let's see what they do in the action. So we just take the one of the crude blade from the storage, put it here. So the mover will take anything from the this place and move it to the storage. And the maker will take the resources from the storage and put it on the workbench. And that's it. That's how it works. And if we implement that functionality in MK1 bots, I only need one bot to do that. Because MK1 has a larger storage than the MK0, so I can put a lot of command inside their brain but it doesn't mean you cannot implement this kind of like the things with only mk0 because previously before i start to create mk1 bots i use all of mk0 bots to do the workshop jobs let's take a look at the flail maker as you can see right now in the brain itself I managed to put a lot of command to do the same job that require 2MK0 to work. I think that's it. That's how it works. Uh, if I can repeat it again, each section has their own storage and transporter which contain the tools or the resources that they need to work on their section. And it creates the, some kind of like a distribution system which make the bots that use tools or resources to do their job can get their resources or tools more efficiently without going to the source of the tools itself in this case it's the workshop i also managed to create the farm and the research automation with the hoof and also there is a couple of the colonies that i have been created but we will talk about that in a, another video i think this is the end of the video don't forget to like and subscribe my channel if you want to see future video about the alternates. That's it. See you.